Hello, and welcome back to Factorio. I thought I'd show you a tips and tricks which I discovered today, um, which I was shown on Twitch by, was it Mookie? I don't know, one of the streamers. So there's a mod called Editor Extensions, um, which gives you a, a bunch of extra stuff when you're, where is it? Editor Extensions, which gives you a bunch of extra stuff for designing a factory in a sandbox. It's really useful, but until today I've had to have a sandbox game within which I play, separate from my actual game. And I discovered today that there's a setting for this and I've just never noticed it before. So if we go back into settings, mod settings, per player, then editor extensions, the uh, two things you need to do is sync inventory and cursor between play modes, you want that to be off. Start in editor obviously off but that's off by default and then testing lab. So I never saw this. This automatically teleports to a testing lab when entering the map editor, then back out when you leave the editor. This allows you to easily test setups in an isolated space while keeping your actual factory pristine. Choose between your own lab and a lab shared among all players in this force. So what I've done is I've set testing lab to personal. So what we can do now is make a new game um, play. There'll be some warnings, go look at some mods installed. All right, and let's get here. So, I'm being burnt to death. Let's move so I don't accidentally die. Okay, and then for um, for the sake of ease, I've added the toggle map editor control onto my hotbar, on my shortcuts, so it will appear in here. Um, go away. Uh, toggle map el editor, so it's at the bottom for me. Okay, so if you turn that on, click this, and after a short delay after it creates the surface, we're in a brand new editor world. So we have all all our tech unlocked. Um, we can make things. We can uh, we can do all the normal creative mode stuff. There we are. Instant blueprinting, all that. Once you've done the design you want to do, toggle map editor, we're back in the normal world. Normal uh, character, none of the stuff's leaked over from testing into the main world. And we can get on with our game. So uh, let's say I want to mi mine some zircon. Um, Fair enough. Put the one tree I have in it. And get on get on with this. Flip over to testing. Right, all the normal testing stuff. And there we go. And then back into the world and this has used up its fuel so as far as I can tell time continues to tick in the base world uh, even when you're in the lab anyway this is what I wanted to show it's uh, something I'm going to be using all the time from now on because uh, I'm one of these people who likes to design things as I go uh, ideally from scratch uh, and it's just gonna be so much nicer to do that in game without needing to boot into a new instance or run two factorios or copy uh, blueprints across. Actually, one thing I do want to test, 
So I grab a blueprint back in here. Yeah, I've got that blueprint. So there you are. That's the end, short one today. Um, hope you enjoy Factorio and I hope this makes your Factorio world just a little bit nicer. Bye-bye.